Tammy from Go Sammy Joe and today we're gonna to be talking about how to customize your Apple Watch. I've been obsessed with my Apple Watch ever since I got it and I I do truly absolutely love it. Um, so I've been wanting to do this video for a while. In this video I'm basically going to have three parts. So the first part is going to be like how to customize your Apple Watch. The second part of this video is going to be about like my favorite apps, what's on my Apple Watch and stuff like that. And the third part of the video is going to be all my Apple Watch hacks and I have some good ones uh, that I love using every day so I'm so excited to share them with you guys. This could be a longer video so I am going to create a bunch of timestamps in the description if you have a specific thing you're looking for. You can check down there um, to skip to the part that you want to see. So before we get started with the video if you guys are new here welcome and make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below to see more videos. I make a wide variety of videos from travel videos to tech videos and I've been doing more lifestyle-y videos lately too so if you're into that kind of stuff make sure to check out my channel all right so let's dive into the video so this is my Apple watch I have the series 4 in the uh, gold aluminum it's pinkish gold kind of thing there are more updated ones, but honestly, I'm totally satisfied with the four. There's nothing really um, on the newer ones that I feel like I would need uh, compared to what's on here. So totally satisfied with this. I love this one. So there is a couple of ways that you can customize your Apple Watch. And like I said, I'll have a timestamps down below if you're looking for specifics and you can cut to that. So the first way that you can customize your Apple Watch is with bands and I'm going to show you guys my band collection that I have for this. I don't have a whole lot. I have like six of them and I got them all from Amazon. Each of them have like a different purpose and I'll do little cutaways for up close shots of these two because I can tell filming just right here is going to be a pain. So Apple Watch bands are a pretty easy way to customize your Apple Watch and they're super easy to change out. This one right here is my favorite of all of them. So this is kind of like one of those loop ones uh, but it's not magnetic it's a velcro one i just love the light pink color th that goes with this apple watch it's kind of like the one that came with apple i like how sturdy this feels so this one i use for everyday use basically if i'm running around doing things i like that i know it won't come off so this is the one i use almost like every day and all of my bands i got from amazon super cheap so i'll have all of them linked down below amazon's great yeah amazing okay so the second band i have is uh the one that came with it from apple it this is kind of like a workout band it's like a um, silicone i would say so how this works is it just kind of like pops on like that and this gives it a really super um, like slim feel to it but the bad thing about it is I've heard a ton of people that lost their watch because this wasn't sturdy enough and it just fell off their wrist so I don't like wearing this for that reason that's kind of why I like the loop so much because I know even if it comes loose it won't fall off me the next one I have is very similar to the first but it is a metal one it's a rose gold it matches the Apple watch exactly so I wear it to like work and stuff like that and it goes with a lot of different things you can still wear this to like work out in and stuff and I think it's super nice um, it's convenient and that magnet on there is locked on like this thing's not going anywhere. So this was one of the first bands I got. Um, this is my leather one. I got this on Amazon too. I paint so I actually use this one for when I paint a lot. That's why there's paint on it. Um, yeah, so this is basically kind of like my painting van that I use on mine. <laughs> Next one here was one of the fancier ones I got. I'll get a shot of it up close because I think this one looks super pretty when it's all put on. It's basically these two little straps. I just think it's so dainty because most of the straps are super thick. Um, it's, you know, shiny. It looks really pretty on. So I wear these sometimes to work, sometimes for fancier events. And my last one, this is like my super fancy one. This one's like a pearl and diamond kind of thing. Now a lot of the ones I've seen online, they have like three rows and it's just a little too thick of a band for me. Uh, I actually bought one and I really didn't like it. It had like things hanging off of it and stuff. But this one, it's um, 
it's kind of thick but it's not too thick and it looks really pretty with the watch on i wear these um for fancier events have a date night wedding stuff like that so that was my band collection um you can find all of them i'll have a link in the description most of them i would say were around from seven dollars to twenty dollar range which i think is pretty good i know the ones that apple sells can be pretty expensive and these have all lasted me uh the only one that did break this is my second one of this one but it's also very dainty and i wore i wore it a lot okay so we are going to move on to the second way to customize your apple watch and we're actually going to go into the apple watch and show you all the different things that you can do to customize it so i'm going to take you into like the watch face and show you guys how you can customize it for yourself now there are other customizations that i am saving for my hacks part of the video at the very end because i consider a more hack than a customization but they kind of fall on the same line so uh, make sure to check those out too at the end of the video so i'm just going to give you guys a little tour of my watch faces so um this is um the first one that i use the most um this is the second one I'm going to show you guys how to do all these then in a second. And the first two are the ones that I use the most. Um, okay, so basically um, there's a couple of different parts to um, your watch face. So first is to select a watch face. So we're going to jump into my phone for that. Okay, so you want to go to your Apple Watch app. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, to choose a face for your apple watch to get a new face you go to the face gallery down here in the bottom and you basically have all of these different options right here um personally i'm not too crazy with the options i thought they would have more for apple you can customize them i have a really cool um thing to customize mine through the photos i'll show you what i do for that then but the first let's go through like the first one that i made um that i use a lot which is basically this one right here the modular one i like this one because it's nice and simple i put a lot of things on there where i just glance at that i want to see during the day like my steps and stuff like that to customize this you basically you can go through and choose which colors you like i believe i have vintage rose on mine right now is what i use and then basically all the things that are on your watch face what you do to customize them they're called complications so you see in the top left how it has the date in the middle it has the weather i like keeping my date in the top there but so in the middle section i like to have my youtube subscribers i use numerics to track my sub um to track my subscribers. We'll I'll go over more about numerics because you can do a lot with them. Um, so, and basically you can customize any of these little dots for different things that you want. I like to track my steps with the pedometer app and I like that being on my home screen. So then the pedometer, so I can just glance down and see how many steps I've taken yet today. That's what I like about this. You can incorporate like all the things that are important to you on your watch face, which I think is awesome. So yeah, you can do this with any of your apps. So basically not all apps have an app for the Apple Watch, but if you download it onto your phone, it should show up in your app gallery. So... Yeah, right down here. If you have it on your phone and it's an option to have um, on your watch, it'll show up somewhere on here. Now, these are the ones I have installed on my Apple Watch, and I think these are ones that I can add to my Apple Watch too. Yeah, or available apps right down here. So that is basically how to customize your um, watch faces. Now, uh, I think my next uh, watch face is really cool. It's my photos one. I turned this into kind of a vision board. Um, so if you saw my um, Apple phone, uh, my iOS 14 update, you saw how I like created a vision board on um, one of the widgets. And I did basically the same thing with one of my watch faces. So if you go over to my second one right here, this is the one I'm talking about. So I included photos that I took and also inspirational quotes and photos that I got from Pinterest. These are all things that I want in my life, motivational quotes, travel, um, oop, <laughs> my bad, clicked on the thing instead. Um, I've got some YouTube stuff, um, where I want to go for our honeymoon, like Greece right there and stuff like that. I'm going to show you guys how you can do this too. 
So, the first thing I do um, when you're just starting out is I go to Pinterest. I basically just save a bunch of photos, so inspirational quotes. So in, inspirational quotes, comfort zone, and then um, let's just say we want to save this one, hit download image, and there you go. Um, so I create a bunch of these that I want. I also include some of my own photos. So like I've got my engagement photos because my wedding is coming up and that's something I'm looking forward to. Also, like I said, different places that I might want to go for our honeymoon. So getting ready for that. Kind of just like a vision board of stuff that I'm looking at every day. So once you have like a bunch of photos saved up, you want to go to face gallery. Get out of this one and you want to scroll down to the photos one so from there you want to uh, click that you want photos and choose photos so we can do the one that we just saved there here's a bunch of the ones that i just saved Oop, get rid of these um that i already used for mine but we'll make another one just delete it then and stuff like that so you can select up to 24 images we'll add and some of them won't fit right so you can just get rid of them so and then you can go to your photos and say you want a quote and then a photo and a quote and a photo you can take these and drag them around so that they're, they're in a specific order okay done and then you can add that to your home screen Okay, this is the one we just created right here. You can just kind of tap through the different oop, photos that we had. I clicked my steps accidentally. And there you have it. That's one way that I personally customize my Apple Watch to look really cool and reflect me and my personality. Okay, so the next way that you can customize your Apple Watch is through the apps that you have on your phone. So if you click the side of your Apple Watch, it'll open up to the app view. And then you can scroll up. So you can customize like where you have these apps. You do it on your phone. So we go to app view and arrangement. And this basically shows how you have your apps arranged. So I like to use, there's a lot of apps on here that I don't actually use that just come on the Apple Watch too. But the ones that I do use a lot, um, I like to keep in the center. So... You to basically move these around you can just kind of grab one and just move it like that and then you can there's people that make patterns out of these or color code them and stuff but mainly when it opens up it just comes to like this close-up view these are all different apps in the middle here that I use every day so the next thing you can do to customize your Apple watch is with the swipe up feature I'm gonna get up close for this Okay, so what I'm talking about is when you swipe up, there's all of these different things right here. Now you can um, add some and take some away. So all you have to do is go down and click edit. And then you can get rid of any of these that you don't want. So what is that one? Or let's just say we want to get rid of the water one. And then it'll be down here or and if you want to add it, um, all you have to do is click the add button. So there's a lot of things on here that are really cool that you can use and by far the one I use the most is the one that pings my phone. I, I swear to God I would buy this Apple Watch just for that feature because I lose my phone so much. So basically you have that ping, pinging feature, um, you have your battery. I almost always have it on silent. Um, there's a night mode. Um, this is a theater mode. So basically um, if you're in a theater and you don't want any disturbances and keep the light off. This one's cool. I just found this one out. This is basically a flashlight if you're out at night and it gets really bright so it kind of acts as a flashlight and then there's like a red one 
which I thought was kind of cool. Okay, so that was basically it for the customization part of this video. Okay, so we are going to now move into the part of the video where we are going to go over the different apps I have on my phone, but also kind of merge that into the hacks part because some of the apps I use are hacks for some things. So yeah, we're just going to move right into that. I'm going to get up close for this again too. Okay, so when you go to my app page, this is basically everything I have. Okay, so in the center here, I have my um, time, which, or it just takes you to the home screen. Um, over here on the side, I have um, my reminders. I'm starting to use them more on my phone, so I'm hoping I start to use them more on my Apple Watch. One thing I do use my watch for a ton are my alarms, so I have those because I'm one of those people that needs a million alarms. And days where I have to wake up super early, I make sure to wear my watch that night because um, having that vibration on my wrist really helps me um, get up in the morning. So we have our messages. Um, again, like I said, there's a ton of apps on here that I don't use a whole lot of. I have my banking app right here so that I can kind of click on that and see how much is in my account if I'm ever wondering if like a payment went through or something like that. So another app that I didn't talk about but I do use a lot is the activity app. Track the different types of workouts that you're doing. Okay, so this app is the app I use to track my steps on my home screen. I almost never go into the actual app. Um, I usually just glance at my home screen. So my numerics app I use to track my YouTube subscribers. From what I've seen online, there's a lot that you can actually do with the numerics app. Um, you can track a lot of things. I could also track my views and stuff, but if you do more than one thing, I think you have to pay for the pro version, which honestly, it probably would be worth it, but I'm just tracking my subscribers on my wrist. I believe there's a ton of other things you can track of numerics, so it's worth checking out that app too. So we've got our weather too. I don't really ever check it much on my watch but it's nice to have. My calendar. Again I want to get more into um, on my Apple devices. Uh, one thing I actually find really helpful is the calculator app and they have a little, I don't know if the regular one on your phone has this but it has like a little tip button. So what $30 tip. It'll tell me a 20% tip is $6 which is Really nice that it just has that. It's super easy. I use that a ton, actually. Okay, so that was basically a general overview of the apps I have. I didn't mention the apps I consider hacks, so I'm going to jump into that now. So the first one I'm going to go over is how to get Instagram, your feed, onto your watch. Okay, so to get Instagram onto your watch, you want, you're going to download an app called Lens. And basically, this is just an app for you to see uh, your Instagram feed on your watch. So you just need to log into your account. Um, there are some things you can't do without the pro version, but you can see your feed and you can like photos and that's basically all I need. I don't need to see stories and stuff like that. So um, I just have the basic version. So to get uh, to see, so once you've downloaded it, you'll log in, but then just go to your lens app and then you can select home, which will just take you to your feed. Slowly. Okay, so once it loads, you can start to see um, photos. Oh, and you can even click on them and stuff like that. And we can like it. Bam. I don't really use this unless I'm bored, but it's a nice option to have, I would say. And this next hack is one that um, slightly amazed with. I just found out about this one and I'm gonna use it a ton. Um, it is the camera app on your watch. So basically it acts as a remote for your phone for to take photos of yourself. So you could set your phone up on a tripod, move across, kind of get an idea of where um, what your photo looks like and take it. So I have my phone set up back here so when it pops up you can you'll probably be able to see me. So you want to go to your apps and then it's this little button up here in the corner, the little camera. Just click it. Camera. And look, there I am. Hi. It's kind of creepy. But yeah. So 
How neat is that? This is me on my watch. <laughs> okay, so basically then, see both of them. So this is so cool, like when you wanna take a group photo and stuff like that and you can just like set it up somewhere and then you can be like, okay, everyone smile, everyone's in the frame, take the photo. Or when you were trying to take your own Instagram photos, and that's a new, new favorite hack. Love that. Okay, an other hack, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I only recently set it up, is the whole emergency thing with your watch. I'm a person that likes to feel safe, so I like to know that I'm safe. And they have this really cool feature on your um, Apple Watch where if you add your emergency contacts and you hit the emergency button, it'll send a ping to those people and give them your location and stuff. So... That's super cool. I think that's awesome that they have it. So to set this up, you are going to want to go to your Apple Watch app. And let's see, you're gonna wanna go to Emergency SOS. Uh, toggle on your fall detection down here. Have hold side button that on too. So, and then you can add your emergency contacts. So edit these contacts. So I have my information, my name, a photo, my uh, birth date, uh, allergies, and then my emergency contacts. So I have my mom and my fiance on there. So if I use the emergency SOS, it will give them a notification that I did so and s send my current location to them in their messages, which I think is super cool. It makes me feel super safe. I like going on runs and I don't always like to take my phone. So if I have my Apple Watch and I feel unsafe, I do that. Another one of my favorite hacks, I just did this a minute ago, but the little pinging of the iPhone. I use this like every day, at least every day. Like most used feature is pinging my iPhone because I lost it. So another hack that's kind of new is um, you can now customize your home screen just on your watch. You don't have to go into your phone to do it. So basically just hold down and you hit the edit button. Okay, so basically you go to edit and you can change your color by using the little side button. I'm Vintage Rose, so let's go back to Vintage Rose. Grapefruit, Vintage Rose, okay, cool. And you can also change the complications. So let's say we want to change from numerics to the pedometer app. It'll do that, and then my steps are right there. But I like having my subscribers there, so we'll edit that and Back to numerics and bam so you can now customize your home screen that way if you'd like to change it up okay guys so this is the last hack I want to show you guys so unlock so all I did was unlock my Mac with my Apple watch so this always does it when you have it on so I'm gonna show you guys how to go into your Mac to do this Okay guys, so I'm going to show you guys how you can unlock your MacBook with your Apple Watch. So first you want to go down to your system preferences and then you want to find security and privacy and click on that. And then all you do, I already have it turned on, is make sure to turn on your, use your Apple Watch to unlock your apps and your Mac. And then you have to put your password in. And you should be good to go. So that is it for how to customize your Apple Watch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some new tips and tricks to help customize your own. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps me out. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to see more videos in the future. And if you like these types of videos and would like to see more, let me know. And like I said, any products that I did use in this video, I will have linked down below if you would like to check them out. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it to this point in the video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.